YouTube anymore. <laughs> Good morning, this is Brett and Jim with the Plastic Sky out in Sacramento, California. Today we are going to be doing our very first YouTube video on windshield repair for acrylic windshields. Uh, we have a 1957 Starfish acrylic windshield with a crack uh, splintering up about 10 inches and uh, a lot of people either can't get a replacement or don't have the funds or can't find someone to, to make a replacement so they just want to stop the crack before it spreads too much. So today we're going to show you one of our techniques for stopping the crack, fixing it a little, uh, getting it back on your boat um, so that you can still use it even though it's not a permanent fix. Um, we have a couple of supplies today. Safety first, we always make sure we have our earplugs, our safety glasses that should be worn at all times whenever you're drilling acrylic. We're going to be using a power drill along with a plastic cutting drill bit. Uh, there's two styles of drill bits out there, uh, probably more. A lot of people have in their toolkits the multi-purpose drill bits that have a little bit of flatter head to them uh, for drilling out acrylic. We want to use a specialized acrylic drill bit, and I'm going to do a super, super close up so you can see the tip. And I hope that's in there. But if, oh, hi, Jim. Hey. The drill bit's right in your head. Awesome. So, yeah, you're not going to be able to see this very much. But if you, if you look online, uh, we use a supplier out here in Placerville, California. You cannot see that drill bit. It's very pointed, much more so than a wood drill bit. So, we're going to be using this one today. Uh, we're also going to be using a product called uh, Side Grip or Weld On Number Three. Again, we get ours from a local supplier up here because it doesn't ship. It's considered a hazardous material and flammable, so unfortunately, we can't ship it around the country. But you can find it at a local plastic fabrication company, or you can just Google online Weld On Number Three. We're also going to be using uh, the Weld On Three applicator bottle. It's a syringe bottle. You fill it about two thirds of the way up. I only have mine filled about one third of the way up because we're not going to be using very much today. And I'll show you the technique for using this as well. We also have, uh, you could either use these press clamps or just, you know, a grip clamp um, to hold the crack in place while we're doing the repair. And I also cut a couple of little shims. Jim's going to help me bring this up here so I can show you. So we have a couple of little shims that we use between our clamp and the actual plastic and that's to prevent the glue from sticking to the clamp. I'll show you what we're gonna do with those as well. So now that we have all our products ready to go, we'll take you through a little step-by-step -step demo of stopping this crack. So, step one. We got our plastic drill in place. I use a 3 16 or a quarter inch diameter drill bit. Um, you don't need to go much bigger than that. It just needs to be large enough so that uh, when uh, you're drilling through, it stops the entire end of the crack. Jim is going to use the end of this uh, paint stir stick, and he's gonna press it against the back where I'm drilling and hold it in place. Uh, if you have two people, it's really helpful. The reason we're doing this is because we're gonna try and give it a little back pressure so that we don't get a blowout on our hole as we're drilling through. So Jim, if you could hold that on there. And I'm going to place the tip of the drill bit at the very end of the crack. We're both going to press and I'm going to go nice and slow with the drill with a decent amount of pressure, not too much. Letting the drill bit do the work. Alright, and we're through. So we have our 3 16 hole at the end of the crack. That's gonna prevent this splinter from going any further. It leaves an unsightly hole, but if you're trying to do a budget fix, uh, this might be the best way to do it. Stops the crack where it's at, and then we can kind of repair the rest of this with our weld on number three. So before we started the video, Jim and I prepared the little shims and the, and the clamp, and we got this crack lined up so it's nice and flush. We're going to set it on its back so that as we're applying the weld on, uh, the weld on won't spill all over the place. Alright. 
So our crack is nice and lined up. Our little trick for using Weld On. This is a needle applicator and it's filled about a third of the way up with Weld On. The rest is air. That air is gonna be our best friend while we're using this product. Uh, typically what I do to keep this from spilling out when you flip it over, um, I don't know if you can see this, but when you flip this product over, even without squeezing it, it starts to drip out. So to get rid of that, let me squeeze that out. I'll squeeze the air out of the bottle and flip it over. And as I flip it over, I let go so that the air is actually sucking up the needle tube and prevents it from dripping out. So we'll take the applicator, squeeze the air out. All right, squeeze the air out. Flip it over and let go. And I'm gonna put the tip of the needle right on my crack. And as I move through the crack, I'm squeezing glue into the crack, letting it fill the crack. And you can actually see it happening. It, it works through capillary action, so it's pulling this weld on solvent right into the crack and filling it. All the way to the end. Squeeze a little bit more in here. All right, nice and full. So this product takes about 20 to 25 minutes to start to set. Um, it's not going to be fully strong for 24 hours, but you can move this in about a half hour. If you let it sit here for about a half hour, take a look at it. If it looks like it needs a little bit more glue, you can put some more glue on it. I usually go back twice. Um, and, and put at least two rounds of glue on it. It's a solvent, so it's gonna evaporate and it's gonna leave some gaps as it evaporates. Um, but yeah, if, if you have the time to let this sit for 24 hours after you glue it, um, that's gonna give you the most strength before you put it back on your boat uh, or before you do anything with your boat. Uh, quick warning though, it's never gonna be as strong as it was when it was brand new. Uh, so it's a temporary fix. It'll stop a crack for a short period of time. But if you don't have somebody that can make you a new windshield, you still want to get out on the water and use what you got. You know, drilling that hole at the end, using a little bit of weld on and just gluing it right back up. It, it'll give you a little bit more life out of your windshield or at least give you enough life where you can enjoy it for, you know, a little bit more of the summertime. If you have any questions, you can always visit, visit us at www.theplasticsguy.com. We're in Sacramento, California. Info's right back there on our banner. We'd love to help you. Even if we can't uh, come out and fix your windshield for you, if you have questions about doing a DIY project in your own house, let us know. We'll give you some tips. And if you are in the Sacramento area and need some help getting a new one, give us a call at 916-728-8264. Thanks a lot. We look forward to seeing you next time.